Look what we have here guys, this is for the first time lock screen widgets on my Pixel 9 Pro XL running the Android 16, this is QPR2 Beta 1, access your favorite widgets and screen savers while charging. Okay, so it's for the first time that you can now do this on a regular Pixel phone, you can see I have the Gemini, the camera, the gallery and of course also my watch list. Okay, so this is one of the many new things that Google added to the latest QPR2. This is the better one. And you can also see the second big thing is now for the first time, we have system wide icon themings on the home screen. And I can show you guys all my apps here. The ones that Google support, which are the standard Google apps are absolutely themed, but not only. Every app that you put here on the home screen is gonna be themed and I can show you. So let's just take Gigbench and I'm gonna put it here. And, and the moment it goes on my home screen, you can see it really gets themed. This is really a very, very nice feature and it's going to finally make your home screen look very, very cool. So how does this work? You go inside the wallpaper and screens, icons themed guys. The mode is called minimal. Uh, this is the default one, all right. When you click on minimal, everything that is on your home screen is gonna get themed and you can indeed change the colors. Okay, you can use dark theme like this and it's gonna look very gorgeous. So let me show you guys. This is now my dark theme. Okay, everything again is themed. Oh boy, this is so, so good because I've been criticizing Google and in general Android makers for not being able to just do things like this on a system wide level. Like for example, uh, Apple is doing with iOS and with the liquid glass, but now finally we are here. And not only does this look beautiful, but you're also able to just adjust it the way you want. Going inside color, so dark to be supported. And of course you can choose your own custom color. All right, let me just choose this one. For example, okay, this is the wallpaper colors. I can go other colors as well and I can do this and everything here, guys, is going to get themed. You can see the icons are themed. Okay, I have various layouts like this. Okay, this is nothing new right now. This has been there before. But right now, this is the themed version and it kind of really looks good good because finally you have the option to just go and uniform your experience. Okay, but let me show you some of the other cool stuff that I was able to find here and I just got this like one hour ago. The first thing I showed you as the um, widgets on the lock screen. So you should go inside the display option. Where is the display option here? All right, and when you scroll down a bit, you're gonna see we have this thing called widgets on lock screen. So show widgets when the device is locked. This is what I did, but there are some conditions. So right now uh, I am using this only while charging, never, all right? Or you can do this while upright and charging. And you can also restrict this to wireless charging, which is even cooler. There are plenty of other new things as well inside the display section. So when you go inside a display section, guys, there's gonna be something called the SDR to HDR adjuster. And I'm trying to find it for you. Okay, so here we have enhanced HDR brightness. And the moment I go inside, guys, I have now this new functionality where I can adjust the intensity. So going from dim, and by the way, this is really, really cool, guys. Now you can see even in this example, this is the standard image, all right? And I can just go and crank up the HDR. And you can see this thing here. Let me just put it on zoom. I think it's really, really cool. This is here now the HDR image, okay? No HDR, everything is SDR like standard and now boom we have enhanced hdr and i'm able to control this is really 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 good i'm gonna go back now to one x so those are the new things that you're um you're able to find inside display and touch google enhance the identity check in android 16 qpr uh, 2 better one because right now some of the apps that you're using will no longer be able to just skip the myometric input and just use, let's say, pin or any other screen lock. So if you want to use uh, the phone with your fingerprint with the biometrics, this is going to be required. And you can, of course, enable and disable this and also manage your locations, like your trusted places. So this is, I think, a very welcome update in terms of security. And when you go inside the security and privacy, there's gonna be some tips popping up. Right now, you cannot see them because I've already checked most of them. What are the new security things they add Added is now the option to really securely lock your device via the Find Hub. You can use the application and also via web, which means that if I decide to right now secure my device, it's going to lock a device, it's going to require immediately, you know, my PIN or my better passwords. And it also means, guys, that if I am to receive any kind of notification, everything is going to be actually hidden. 
And even the biometric unlock may be temporarily disabled, which means that if I am to lose my phone, somebody else finds it and I securely lock it. Hey, this is going to be pretty, pretty much unusable. So this thing here is going to be also complemented with a new phone theft protection that is right now not available, but they will add more and more like phone theft protection and securing your phone features to make this really a very, very secure device. And believe it or not, but there are more things inside the display options. Right now, when you go there and you click on the Dart theme, there's going to be a new expanded Dart theme, which means automatically applies the Dart theme to more apps for improved accessibility. So right now, I wasn't really able to get any app that is not really performing in the same way, but I guess that there's got to be some apps that are not, let's say, so dark, even in the dark mode. And with this expanded, Banded dark mode is going to kind of like enforce a system white dark mode. So again, this is really a new direction. Uh, how it used to be not only having a dark theme with some elements that are like rather gray and, and etc. Which means you are getting more controls to system wide UI elements. And for the final, something really big guys. Let me open terminal. So if you don't know what this is, yeah, you probably missed my previous videos, but I was pretty much able to run a standard desktop environment through the Linux terminal here, which is a proper Linux virtualization. But the caveat was that I wasn't able to do this directly on the phone. I had to use a VNC and connect it to my PC. So the display activity was missing. I think it was there at some point. It was then removed and they only added it, I guess, some weeks ago with the latest Android 16 Canary build. But luckily, guys, yeah, now we are able to use graphical apps here inside. So now I have logged in here on my Debian instance and I really hope it's gonna work, but the fact that I'm just getting a display is absolutely mind blowing. I was only able to do this um, previously with using the um, VNC connection. Now I'm not sure how stable this is, but the fact that I can now run it and get a display here directly on my phone, it's, oh my God, yeah, it's running. This is great enough. So. Um, the thing is, I probably need to hook up my mouse, and if I am to hook my mouse, it's going to work. And tomorrow, I'm going to test even more, because right now, we know that we have a graphical support directly on our phones, and I want to see how far are we with the graphical acceleration. So I cannot move the mouse from here, but I can probably just try to open something. <laughs> oh my God. We now have a full functioning Debian running on my Linux VM directly on my Android phone. And by the way, from what I see right now, it ain't that bad. Yeah. And I can, of course, also try to test this in depth tomorrow and probably also test the new display mode. But this is so, so cool, guys. And I do believe that this also runs in a window. OK, so you can see if I am to just do like this. Now, this is absolutely insane. I just have my Linux VM here running in this window, can probably even resize it. Yeah, Debian here and then Android down below. Guys, this has been it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. It's already very late, so I'm going to bed, but tomorrow more. Stay safe.